Nigeria is blessed with so many talented people home and abroad and it's not surprising that many talented foreigners have some of their roots tracing back to Nigeria. So with that being said, let's look at 10 American artists that have Nigerian origin. Starting at number 10, we have Tyler the Creator, whose real name is Tyler Gregory Okoma, an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, and music video director. Hello everybody, Tyler Okoma here, also known as Tyler the Creator, and you are he was born in Ladera Heights, California, to a Nigerian father and an African-American mother. Tyler's father, Emmanuel Okoma, is of Igbo descent from Nigeria. And his mother, Louisa Vanetta, is of African-American and European-Canadian heritage. Tyler has mentioned his Nigerian heritage in interviews and has expressed pride in his roots. Did you ever meet your father? Uh, I think I did at 12, supposedly, but I don't really know. That's what my mom said, but... Are you That's mad at him that he desert the family? Nah, dude, I'm stoked. I no. think if I had a dad, if I had a, I think if I had a dad, I would have went the normal college route and like like a lot of other people. So you're not angry? At him. I'm so stoked. My life panned out how it was. I just decided to rap about it to seem like I'm sad. But would you I'm like stoked. to be with him? Would you like to meet him? Um, I mean, one day, I guess. I don't really think. I mean, about he must it. know all about you. Yeah, I don't really care. Like, I'm fine. Not even being passive aggressive right now. I really don't care. How important is your mother? Uh, very important. I see her every day almost. We don't talk much, but... What do you mean you don't talk much? Like, I'm always gone, but <laughs> she be putting the house together. Tyler, the creator, is known for his innovative and elective style, which blends elements of hip-hop, R&B, jazz, and rock music. He has released several critical acclaimed albums, including Goblin, Wolf, Cherry Bomb, Flower Boy, Ego, which won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album in 2020. As a prominent figure in the music industry, Tyler the Creator is an excellent example of an American artist with Nigerian origin who has made significant contributions to the music world. Next up at number 9, we have Jam Milonia, the Nigerian American rapper who took the music industry by storm in the early 2000s. Born Hakim Seriki in Houston, Texas, Jam Milonia grew up in a low income household with his parents and three siblings. He's one of Nigerian descent, with his father being a Yoruba man and his mother African American. Despite the financial struggles, his parents encouraged his love for music and he started rapping at a young age. Shami Lena's big break came in 2006 with the release of his debut solo album, The Sound of Revenge, which featured the hits like Riding. They see me This song was everywhere and his success earned him a Grammy nomination and a record deal with Universal Records. But Shami Lenea didn't stop there. He went on to release second album Ultimate Victory in 2007, which included the hit song Turning Up. He since released several mixtapes and collaborated with big names like Snoop Dogg, Lil Wayne and Bon B. What's impressive about Shami Lenea is his entrepreneurial spirit. He founded his own record label, Shami Military Entertainment and assigned artists like Lil Kim and 5050 Twin. He's also invested in real estate and technology startups, showing that he's more than just a rapper. Attention all entrepreneurs. I feel like I need to address this since it keeps on coming up. Every day, an entrepreneur reaches out to me about a potential investment saying they have a billion dollar idea. My advice to you is to never tell someone you have a billion dollar idea. At number 8, we have the popular Olobuwale Victor Akintemi, also known as Wale, an American rapper born in Washington, D.C. I'm getting mine like fine wine, measured in time. Many other brothers love you, but this pleasure is mine. Wale's parents were from Nigeria and moved to the United States. He grew up in Washington, D.C. and later moved to Maryland. Wale started his music career in 2006 with his song Dig Dog, also known as Stray Kids, which became popular in Washington, D.C. and nearby areas. He then signed with Alido Records in 2007 and later with Interscope Records for $1.3 million in 2008. Wale's music is a blend of hip hop and go go, a music style originating in in Washington DC. Wally has released four studio albums and has also released several mixtapes and singles. Wally has received a Grammy Award nomination, including the DC Metro Breakthrough Artist of the Year Award at WKYS GoGo Awards in 2006. He has also ventured into acting with a guest appearance on the TV show Entourage in 2010. He has also signed with Rock Nation for management in 2009. At number seven, we have Jidina Theodore Mobisin, known mononymously as Jidina, a Nigerian American rapper, singer, and songwriter. Bambi, Bambi. Ah, Bambi. My dear 
my dear, my dear. He was born in Wikinson Rapids to a white American accountant mother and a Nigerian Igbo father. Jidina grew up partially in Nigeria where his father was working as a professor of computer science at Enugu State University. Jidina was six years old. The family moved back to the United States due to a failed kidnapping attempt. He later moved to Norwood, Massachusetts and then to Milton in 2000. Jidina's father died in 2010. He graduated from Milton Academy in 2003 and later graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Comparative Studies in Race and Ethnicity from Stanford University in 2008. Jidina signed with Janelle Monell's record label Wonderland Art Society, an imprint of Epic Records, to release his debut single Classic Man, featuring Roman giant author of Kendrick Lemar in 2015. The song peaked at number 22 on the Billboard Hot 100 and received double platinum certification by the Recording Industry Association of America. He released his debut studio album The Chief in 2017, which peaked at number 38 on the Billboard 200. His second album 85 to Africa was released in 2019 and explored the Afrofusion music style. Classic Man received a Grammy Award nomination for Best Rap Song Performance and Janina won in four categories at the 2015 Soul Train Music Awards. He has been featured in an episode of the Netflix original series Luke Cage and has performed on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. He has also guest starred on the TV show Insecure. A short and school version of Classic Man featured in the Academy Award winning 2016 film Moonlight. Jidina has released three studio albums and has also released several singles and has collaborated with other artists on their songs. This is a mission of my life, mm -hmm. honestly. If we invest in in Africa, invest in, in the, that continent, if Africa invest, invest in the diaspora, we're going to change everything. Every hood is not going to work the way we're doing it now. My dad used to say this very basic physics lesson. He said, you can't inflate a balloon from inside the balloon. Mm. You must inflate it from outside. Mm. Who do you see puff, puff, puffing inside the balloon? It won't work. So the diaspora must take money from outside and put it in. And the continent must take money from inside and put it out. At number 6, we have Rotimi or Olorotomi Akinosho, who was born in the town of Maplewood, New Jersey, to a Nigerian family of Yoruba heritage. Yo, I'm starving. Starving. I need some good Nigerian food, man. Huh? Some, some abono soup, some suya, some jello, some, some stockfish. Hook me up, please. He's an actor and a singer. Rotimi's journey began at Columbia High School, where he excelled on the varsity basketball team and showcased his vocal talents in the choir. His passion for the arts led him to Northwestern University, where he earned a degree in communication with a minor in business in 2010. After college, Rotimi's acting career took off with his debut role as drug dealer Darius Morrison on the TV series Boss. He then appeared in ABC's Betrayal and made his film debut in Black Nativity 2013. His breakthrough role came when he stared in Imperial Dreams at the 2014 Sudan's Film Festival, followed by a role in the hit film Divergent in 2014. Rotimi's talent and charisma soon landed him a series regular role on Star's TV series Power and a recurring role on Battle Creek. But his crazy pursuit didn't stop there. He also pursued music, releasing two digital mixtapes, The Resume and Why You Wait in 2011. I don't say too much. He signed with 50 Cent's label G Unit Records and released his first single, Lotto, featuring 50 Cent. Ah, finally, someone has said it. I want to be swallowed up. Ah, it is a season. They told me it is a season of being swallowed up. I want to be swallowed up. Eh? Do, 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 applications? Do, do we need to send applications? I too want to be swallowed up. Uh, that's brilliant! I should have said this five years ago. Next up at number five, we have Toby Nwigwe, who was born in the vibrant city of Houston, Texas. He was born to Nigerian parents. Growing up in the Alive neighborhood, Toby was raised with a strong sense of community and passion for sports. He excelled in football, earning a scholarship to the University of North Texas. But fate had other plans. A devastating injury left Toby unable to play, and he found himself at a crossroad. It was then he discovered his true calling, music. Encouraged by motivational speaker Eric Thomas, 
Toby began honing his craft, blending hip hop with his Nigerian heritage. In 2017, Toby released his debut album, Toby from the SWAT, which gained local recognition. But it was his collaboration with Pharrell Williams that catapulted him to national attention. Soon he was performing on NPRO's Tiny Dex concert series and the BET Hip Hop Awards. Toby's unique sound and inspiring story earned him a Grammy nomination and NAACP Image Awards recognition. He continued to release hit albums including The Originals and Moments, showcasing his growth and creativity. At number 4, we have Koz, whose real name is Cody Osage, a Nigerian-American rapper from Los Angeles, California. Koz is of Nigerian descent, with his parents being Nigerian. He signed to Chico's Dream Vi Records and Ita Scope Records and has been making waves in the hip-hop scene since 2014. Koz's music is known for its raw energy, honest lyrics, and old-school vibes. He's got a unique flow and knack for storytelling which sets him apart from other rappers. Koz has released several mixtapes and EPs including Cause and Effects and Effected. He's also collaborated with other artists like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar and Bass. What's cool about Koz is that it's all about keeping it real. He raps about his experience growing up in LA, his struggles and his triumphs. He's not afraid to speak his mind and share his truths which resonates with his fans. At number 3, we have Maxo Cream whose real name is Emekwan Name Ogugwa Biosa Jr. A Nigerian American rapper also from Houston, Texas. His Nigerian descent actually comes from his father who was an immigrant to the United States. He's been making waves in hip-hop scene since 2015 and has built a reputation for his raw energy, lyrical skill and unique style. Maxo's music is a fusion of trap beats, old school flow and storytelling with a dash of Houston swag. He's got a knack for painting vivid pictures with his words and his rhymes are often both personal and relatable. He's released several mixtapes and albums including Mark Zone 187 and Poon King which have earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. He's also collaborated with other artists like Travis Scott, Megan Thee Stallion and Asap Fedge. Mark Zone Cream's music reflects his experience growing up in Eastern Southside. He's got a strong sense of community and often gives back to his hometown through music and charity work. At number 2 we have Chika or Jane Chika or Ronica, a Nigerian American rapper, singer, songwriter from Montgomery, Alabama. She was born on Nigerian American parents of Igbo descent. Chika's music is a fusion of hip hop, R&B and pop with a dash of southern charm. She's known for her lyrical skills, confident flow and unapologetic honesty. Her rhymes are often both personal and political, tackling topics like racism, sexism and self-love. Chika gained a massive following on social media and music streaming platform with her freestyle rap videos and her debut single, No Squares. She since released several EPs and singles including Industry Games and You Should which have earned her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Her music reflects her experiences as a black woman from the south. It's all about empowerment, self-love and speaking truth to power. She's also a talented visual artist and often creates her own music videos and artwork. Chika has been named one of the most exciting new artists in hip-hop and has collaborated with other artists like Cardi B, SZA and Khalid. She's also performed as festivals like Coachella and Rolling Loud. My closet went from being broke to steady stacking up deposits. Take a picture, it'll last long. Probably want to fast. Finally, at number one, we have the energetic Daz or Daniel Umonsu Jr., a Nigerian Canadian rapper, singer, songwriter from Toronto, Canada. Ibu Quen, perhaps. Kedu, all the man, my son. Eh? God is good though, but we can't waste time. What have you boys been working on? He was born to Nigeria immigrant parents and has been making waves in the music industry since 2017. Daz's music is a fusion of hip hop, R&B and pop with a dash of introspection and personal growth. He's known for his lyrical skill, melodic flow and honest storytelling. His rhymes are often both introspective and relatable, tackling topics like mental health, relationships and self-discovery. Daz gained a massive following on social media and music streaming platform with his debut single, Cash Me outside and his viral freestyle rap videos. He since released several EPs and singles including Book of Revelations and My Last Words which have earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Dax has been named one of the most exciting new artists in hip hop and has collaborated with other artists like Travis Scott, Logic and Tech 9 He's also performed at festivals like Rolling Loud and Veld Music Festival. So if you enjoyed the video kindly hit the subscribe button and like, click on the end screen on your left to watch the 10 Hollywood stars you didn't know we are Nigerians.